Over requests for this over the last couple of months, and it's not a super exciting subject, sorry, but but it, you know, obviously it's something that matters to everybody. Uh, healthcare, uh, I think this is probably a request made by guys uh, still living in their home countries. And, oh, hang on, dummy, uh, living in their home countries, and they're you know a little concerned, uh, as you logically would be, uh, about what kind of healthcare they could expect here in Thailand. How does it kind of work? Um, and, and it is pretty different than back in the States anyway. It's probably different than everywhere. But uh, uh, one, they've got really good health care. Once you start Googling and looking around places to live, one of the positive reasons for retiring in Thailand, or at least part of the time or all the time, whatever, uh, would be the health care quality. Um, if you go to Bangkok, you're not going to be surprised to hear that's like the big world-class hospitals. That's that's the places where you might get a higher quality surgery than even in your home country. You can look that up on your own. You'll find out that, oh, oh crap, that's really true. Um, you know, uh, the, the uh, medical tourism. Uh, Thailand is a big country for medical tourism uh, because it is a low cost of living country. Everything else is low cost. And the healthcare itself, I'll get into that in a minute, more detail. Uh, surgical costs, big surgeries and stuff are all relatively affordable here. Uh, or back home, you're looking at, you know, maybe it's that quarter, half a million, three quarters of a million dollars, whatever the hell it costs for a big surgery these days. Uh, I don't know, but I know it's, I know people get bankrupted over them. So they, that's a lot, obviously. You're talking obviously six figures, so, and up. Um, okay, so, so all that. Uh, uh, but, 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 but skipping that for a minute and then also overviewing to uh, living here, uh, most guys self-insure. Uh, the, 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 the cost of procedures and treatments and things is so cheap and I'm at the hospital almost every week for all my stuff, various things and whatnot, and, and I just pay cash, you know, um, you know, you might get a, you know, bill at the hospital, it might be two, three thousand baht, well, that, that, that's, that's 80 bucks, you know, I mean, it, it's not worth having a healthcare plan. Now, if you Google healthcare, Thailand, expat, health insurance, I mean, you, half my viewers are over 60. You know, you've got some life experience. You can hit a search engine. If you're not good on the internet, you got nephews and kids that will help you, and everybody's got that one super smart computer friend, right? Um, so, you know, um, you'll find that uh, there's t tons of insurance companies. If I had somebody to recommend, I'd say it. I get asked for recommendation all the time. I, I don't... Uh, uh, Excuse me. Um, no, I get asked for that all the time, but I, I, you know, I've used a couple different companies. Nothing that really I thought was any good. What I ended up doing was getting a recommendation from another friend here, and I just found the least expensive thing that kept the Thai government, that met the minimum Thai government requirements for you have to have COVID insurance in case you get COVID, you're on a burden to the Thai government. Um, you have to have a minimum health care insurance, uh, but they're pretty minimal. They, they essentially cover nothing. It's essentially a piece of paper that says if you get sick, it's your fault. That's how I look at it. It really covers nothing. Um, and that costs you maybe, uh, I, I think it was uh, you know, 100 bucks for the year or something like that, a couple hundred bucks for the year or something like that. Um, you can spend about 1000 to 1500 U.S. a year and get a plan that maybe would probably actually cover up to a couple million baht of like serious health medical problems if something happened. But that's like 30 to 60 grand. Now, if you don't have 30 to 60,000 saved, or if that's like a giant chunk of your whole retirement savings, then you need that insurance. Um, um, a lot of guys here, uh, I don't know what a lot means, but maybe it's half-ish or something. Uh, that isn't such a big deal. And, 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 and I'm fortunately in that category, praise God. Um, to me, if I lost 30 grand, I, I wouldn't like it. I'd, I'd feel like that was a wasted motorcycle. Dream, that's, that's a dream motorcycle, by the way, right there. Probably no money, I'd never spend that amount, but whatever. Um, but I wouldn't, wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be in big trouble. And uh, one of my children is rather wealthy, and she's offered to support me on an ongoing basis, which I politely declined. I don't need it. Praise God to the high heavens that that's true. I'm not saying I'm rich, because I'm not. But I'm comfortable. And again, I, I read your viewers of the channel know. I mean, look at where I'm living. I'm, I'm, and I'm totally, this is like the happiest, this is like the happiest I've been. You can see my spot. I'm the rich guy because I got stuff out in front of my place. I can buy stuff. I'm kidding. But no, I'm, 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 I'm uh, what, I, I think there's an old ACDC song that talked about being a 50 cent millionaire. I think that's me. I just, uh, a guy that lives cheaply, but I have everything I want. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just happy, and it doesn't cost me a lot to be happy, and here I am, I'm happy. How's that? Anyhow, so back to insurance. So 
Uh, Self-insure is what most guys do. If you want to plan, Google it. And then there's Facebook groups. And you, if you make some friends uh, somewhere that, that have traveled and stuff, get on other chat groups maybe in your home country. Uh, you know, if you're German or English or whatever, there might be a, some people there that have looked at this. And st There's always those couple guys that spreadsheet everything to death, right? You find one of those guys, they'll tell you everything. It changes all the time, and I'm just not going to research this for my channel because who am I to say what health care insurance is good? I don't, I don't have any qual. I don't, I don't know anything about health care insurance other than I need it a lot. The thing for me that I found that's been the most helpful has been just the general level of care and caring. Um, a lot of my problems, and as we get older, a lot of us have arthritis. We got bad back, bad knees, bad hips, bad, whatever. We're getting all these pains, right? And 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 my my you know fawn, my my Thai cultural wife. There's been no ceremony or anything yet, but but everyone thinks of us that way, and that's fine. I just want to clarify, you know. Um, she takes phenomenal care of me. She does everything for me. And guys talk about, you know, their Thai wives laying their clothes out for them, putting their shoes on for them. I mean, it's crazy the level of care you get here. It's a, it's a cultural thing. If you get an actual, real, traditional Isan girl, uh, and maybe a traditional Thai girl does the same thing, that I couldn't tell you. I know the traditional Isan. I'm out in the Isan region, which is a regional culture of, subculture of Thailand, which is generally regarded as being really cool, but it's controversial because the bar girls tend to come from Isan. So there's two sides to that coin. But anyways, um, no, her family goes out of the way to make sure things are convenient for me. Um, when I'm going somewhere, if it's a big, I've got some a bigger treatment and stuff coming up, I imagine there's going to be quite a big fanfare over that. You know, whatever. And, and, and then when you go to the actual medical practitioners themselves, and the therapeutic massage that's available here. I'm talking about real massage, not Pattaya massage. And, I, and when I say Pattaya, and I'm picking on it, pardon me, I bumped the camera. Um, I mean the sex district, not everywhere. It's actually, Jamtian Beach is actually in Pattaya, and it's actually very nice. I'd live there, other than I don't like the humidity. And it's probably more expensive than I could comfortably afford, being completely honest with myself. But I don't like the, I, I'm beached out. I had two beach houses back in the States, lived there for 20 years total. Loved it, loved it, absolutely loved it. But I'm satisfied. I'm good. There's an old saying in the Caribbean, when you get your back to the bar, you know you're kind of good. And, 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 you, and the guys, the real people that live down there, eventually sat with their back to the, back to the bar, back to the beach, sitting at the bar with their back to the beach. So I screwed up the phrase. But you get the idea. I was eventually one of those back to the beach guys, because eventually you've seen it. I stared at it for years, loved it. But eventually, and I'm a sailor. I used to go out there and sail and loved it. But I'm done. Anyway, so... Um, how to get on that? Sorry, but uh, the level of caring that you get is just incredible, and 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 that's helped me continue my recovery better than uh, the healthcare is healthcare. If I need an injection, I get an injection. If I need a pill, I get a pill. You know who cares? It's the same. But the quality of the massage, the people helping you, this uh, tar where I'm at in Central Thailand. I'm I, my theory, and I'm not a weather guy either, but. It seems like if you're at a place of a slight elevation, Thailand is, tends to be flattish. There's, I think, two significant mountain ranges through Thailand off the top of my head. There might be ten, but I know of two, so there's mountain areas. But a lot of Thailand between those mountains is quite flat. But where I'm at, there's like a, I'm going to say it's a 600 or 1,000 foot elevation or some little tiny elevation. And it's enough the humidity clears here. And it's, it's a dry heat is my point. And I've had people tell me before when I was a young man, older people were like, they went to Arizona for the dry heat. And I you know, what, who cares? Now I get it. That dry heat's fantastic for arthritis. That, and then when I build my house, I'm absolutely putting in a hot tub. Uh, I hot tubbed with one of my best friends back in the States. My son and I went over to his big ranch. He has a ranch, it's really nice. And me and his boy and me and my boy, we hung out for an evening, had a fantastic time. I had two really good craft beers, uh, Arbor Brewing Strawberry Blonde, one of my favorites, it's a double Belgian. Oh, a uh, couple of double Belgians and a nice 105 degree hot tub when you got a bad back, wow, is that awesome. I am gonna repeat that therapy weekly when I build my house here for sure. Uh, and all those things are helping me. I mean, it, 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 to me, my mobility and it's just slowly going up because of the quality of the caringness here. It isn't so much the health care, it's the caring part of the ties. Uh, and that will start with your Thai girlfriend or wife. And, uh, you know, uh, when you get to a, if you've got needs like I do, I highly recommend getting a good, actual, caring, nice person and not just a piece of arm candy. 
uh, whatever you want to call it, um, which I, I, honestly, from what I see walking around the mall, it, it looks like a lot of guys go for that route, but, um, you know, whatever. But if you get someone that actually cares, um, you know, I've got some of my smartest friends have got some of the most caring wives. And uh, some guys went for the arm candy thing, and they are noticeably less happy, by the way. Long term, those girls don't make you happy. And, 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 and you can find, I mean, and, and if for the shallow side or the whatever, I mean, just to me, Fawn is so pretty. I, mean, I was telling her this morning, she's all dressed up going to the temple. I'm just, this is my muscle shirt I bought back in the States. I bought a whole bunch of supplements, again, doing a little, uh, uh, um, uh, memory lane there and when I used to be big into the weightlifting and all that and I'm just well enough now when I'm doing uh, some of my my physical therapy and my light weights I can do a little tiny bit more and get a little bit of a pump and I'm just enjoying it it's a hobby I did it my whole life and I just loved it and missed it and I'm just actually able to do it a little bit so I bought a muscle shirt and I was just I was just happy that I could do that and be in that you know game a little bit you know so uh, so to me, I'm continuing to very, very, very slowly, my body's fighting me tooth and nail, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm slowly winning that fight. I'm um, getting a tiny bit better. And that's all because of Thailand, the culture, and the dry heat, and uh, the cost. And uh, so for insurance, you will be required to have insurance here. And to come here and get your visa, one of the requirements will be to show that insurance. And there's minimum requirements for that. Don't try and outsmart everybody and, and, and list all the requirements and then say what you need because they'll forget one. Just say, I need the insurance the government approves. I need, the, I need for my visa, I need the good insurance that covers everything that my visa needs. They'll know what that means. But last I did, when I renewed mine months ago, um, it still required COVID. Uh, that was still a requirement. Uh, there's still a mask mandate in place here, although fewer people are going by it. But that there's, Thailand's still masked up. Not in, not in public, praise God, anymore, but if you go into a building, you're supposed to. Um, generally, that means just in the hospitals, people do. 90% of the people inside a hospital are now wearing a mask. You're supposed to wear one in a store. I'd say in the stores, half and half. So, you know, but uh, it's been three years of wearing a mask. I, I'm not a, I don't wear one much anymore. It's been three years. I've had it seven times between you know, whatever. I'm, and none of it really killed me, so I'm still here, so... It wasn't even the worst flu I ever had. For me, I'm not going to get into all that, but, you know, whatever. So uh, that's kind of my, my, my take on healthcare in Thailand. Uh, it's really good. It's cheap. Um, generally, a lot of guys that can afford it just self-insure. and But you do have to have it. And I would say the best part about it is is to use it to... Elevate your life. Get the get the caring part going, and and get your arthritis better. Get your hip better. Maybe you won't have to use your cane as much, or you can walk further after a while. Lose a couple pounds, you know. I do that. Thai food's really healthy. If you get fat eating Thai food, that's your fault. I'll see ya. My name is Rob, and thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. I meant every word I just said with respect.